So, I'm Ed. And, uh, well, some of you may already know this, but I'm autistic. And, well, I thought I... I may have, I brought it up, up like, maybe once or twice before, but I was going to talk a bit about what that really means in certain ways for me. Not going to do a whole video just on that in its entirety, because that would be a very, 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 very long kind of video. But I thought I'd uh, explain some individual assets of it in a sort of series. So this, of course, being episode one of Autism and Ed. And uh, since we got a brand new duck, this one, I, I thought I'd better answer the question, why the duck? Or why do I use rubber ducks so extensively in my work? Well, they help me focus. In the sense that I sometimes find it difficult to formulate sentences, think about what I'm saying, and especially coming up with questions on the fly. But a rubber duck can help. So let me uh, show you with some of the ducks that you've already met, probably. So, this duck, help, with this duck in hand, I know if I'm, say, talking to someone, but this is the time where we ask the personality kind of questions. This duck is more about economics, or economics, can't remember how you pronounce it, and logistics, sort of material stuff. This duck... I can uh, will be more about sort of like nations, cultures, themes, religions, that sort of thing. This duck will have the more demographic kind of focus. You know, race, ethnicity, gender, sexuality, all that stuff. This duck, through ideas, beliefs and the like. This duck being the sort of environment, happenstance, and the sort of general kind of, you know, contextualization of whatever we're talking about. Brings us to our brand new duck. Well, well, we're going to think of something, but perhaps the question of what we can learn from all this, or theory. Yes, a learning duck. Maybe tie everything all together. Not to mention, of course, ducks are fun. Adds an air of sort of l vibrancy, a bit of humour, you know. And maybe you know make it a bit less intimidating <laughs> you know if a rubber duck comes asks you a question on a you know possibly touchy subject maybe it doesn't feel so aggravating i don't know maybe that's the case maybe that isn't i would be interested to know whether people feel more at ease talking to a rubber duck about difficult topics i only use those two these two are also here there, and these also engage in difficult topics, but well, I'm dropping everything all over the place, aren't I? Well, <laughs> here we go. So, hopefully that answers the question, why the duck? Is it a sort of like autism memory aid or thinking aid? Because, you know, when you've got 15 trains of thought all going on in your head at once, it's helpful to have a little prompt to guide you where you're meant to go next. 
Well, thanks for understanding. Hope you enjoy the future videos and whether you like the ducks, whether ducks help you remember things or not, it was lovely having you here.